Hey everyone, welcome to Crash Course, the biggest revision series ever on YouTube on your very own Baijiu 6 to 8 channel. Today we are here with mind map and revision of sound. Awaaz, hai na? So it's a very important chapter. I can't stress enough how important this chapter is. Basics clear hona bohat zaruri hai aur uske liye we have the one shots for you, right? It's extremely important that your basics are, are properly cleared for this chapter. Otherwise, you will always struggle and believe me, sound will come back again and again in front of you, okay? Sound ke basics, bachcho, please clear kar lo. Make sure you have watched these two one-shot sessions. In bahut achche se hum logo ne explain kar rakha hai. We have explained this everything very beautifully in, in very much details to make sure that everything is clear to you, okay? If you haven't watched them and you are watching this session right now, please go ahead and watch these two. Abbi, right now. You drop off and watch these two. I'm telling you, it's very important, okay? All right, so... Now that your basics are clear, it's a condition, I can move forward for revision. And we'll be creating a mind map and it's a crash course means, you know, by the end of this session, I'll also give you a test. For that, you have to hold on, listen to me carefully, let's revise everything and then I'll tell you how you can give the test, okay? Chalo, start karte hai sound. Sound, starting happens with production of sound, right? You have to produce the sound first. How will you do it? Vibrations. So who produces sound? Vibrations produce the sound, right? There are some vibrations happening. That's why you can hear me, right? So vibrations produce sound. So in humans, it's not very visible. So what vibration? I don't see any vibration, right? If you clap your hand, I don't see any vibration, huh? But these instruments is something where you can see the vibration very clearly. For example, harp or guitar, string based instrument. Hai. You vibrate them and you will hear sound over there. Tabla. There's a membrane over this, right? Dum. Right? You see, you hear a sound. Very good. Flute. We have what? Air column, which is vibrating, right? So that's why. How the question comes? Question kaise aayega? Question puchega. Tell me two string based instruments. Tell me two membrane based instruments. Tell me two air column based instruments, right? So that's how the question will come to you. And these are like three examples. And you have multiples. One shot, mein we have done enough examples, right? Hai na? Chalo, aage chalte. This is about production of sound. Theek hai. Sound produced to ho gaya. I am speaking here. You are hearing me over there. In between there is air, there is medium, hai na? but still you can hear me. Sound propagate kaise karta hai? What is propagation? Traveling of sound, right? How sound travels from the source to the person who is able to hear. Hai na? Hum to se sunte hai, right? Kaise? Beech mein kya hai? Sound travel kaise kar raha hai? That is the question we are answering in this particular point over here. Propagation of sound. Now listen to me. Sound is a mechanical wave. Yes, it's a wave. True, but it's a mechanical wave, right? Means it needs a medium for propagation. Kaise hota hai? The first part which is vibrating, let's say it's a string. You can, you can see that animation over there. And by the way, in one shot, toh, humne, we have done this in great detail. Na? Remember? Yaad hoga tum logo? I'm hoping, right? Correct. So, when you struck a string, what, hap what it happens? It presses the air molecules next to it. It's ne next air molecules ko press kiya. Now these are pressed and that's how this sound kind of travels forward. Hai na? Compressions and rarefactions. Compressions are the regions where the air molecules are close to each other. Rarefactions are the other regions where the air molecules are far from each other. Hai na? Dur dur hai. So, compression mein density zyada hoti hai, pressure zyada hota hai. Rarefaction mein we have less density and less pressure as well, right? Hai na? Saun mein aara hai. Like kar diya hoga. I'm hoping that you have pressed the like button. Hai na? Subscribe bhi kar diya hoga. Don't worry, I'll, I'll talk about this. Hai? That's how the sound travels. Propagation of sound happens like this. Very good. Now, sound in different media. Like right now we are talking about air only, right? But sound can travel through solids also. And you have done this activity. Tum logo ne kiya hoga. Table ke upar sar rakha hua hai. And your friend is doing tak 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 over there. And you can hear it, right? It means sound is traveling through a table also. Sound can travel to different mediums also. That's true. Fastest kaha hai, slowest kaha hai, that is where the question comes. For example, solids, sound travels, yes. Liquids, sound travels, yes. Gases, sound travels, yes. Sound cannot travel through vacuum. That's something which you should know. Fastest, if we ask about, in these three mediums, in which medium sound travels fastest? Tell me right now, come on, batao. Solids, hai na? Why? Because solid molecules are close to each other. Hai na? Sound travels very quickly. Next is liquids. Molecules are still closer than gases, but far farther than solids. Itna. Right? But gases may molecules are very far apart. 
so that's why they take more time in in transferring this information and right? in in this wave to be spread so that's why fastest in solids slowest in air fine okay in gases i would say all right this is about sound in different media all right now sound in humans ab baat karte hain humans ki how i am speaking because something is vibrating what is vibrating what is vibrating come on think about it vocal cords in larynx see larynx is the voice box ye jo hai na this is the larynx right so voice box is the larynx inside larynx there is something called as vocal cords and they look like just two flaps hai na they just they look like two flaps they vibrate to produce sound air passes through these flaps look at this over here hai na so look at this air passes through these flaps and that's how sound is produced all right so vocal cords produce sound kahan milti hai larynx ya fir voice box ke andar very good that's about humans now this is all about sound production hai na sound production and propagation we have discussed lekin hum sunte kaise hain how do we hear it kano se right from through our ears right so human ear is another important topic in this chapter human ear listen see human ear has three major parts outside part is the pinna right hai na the outer ear it's a funnel that collects sound so pinna you might see this shape of pinna is something which is very peculiar why sound comes and pinna catches it and sends it inside the ear right so its its job is to collect the sound okay middle ear middle ear mein what do we have this is the middle ear theek hai middle ear ye nahi hai hai na this is the where the wax gets deposited that is not the middle ear hai na middle ear hai andar ear drum right so ear drum vibrates and ampli uh, vibration is amplified see jo sound jata hai the sound which goes inside the ear it vibrates the ear drum and this ear drum in turn vibrates three sets of muscles right anvil incus stapes right some hammer anvil incus stapes aise se kuch hai bio mein padh lena hai tum log theek hai right so that's why these are the three small small smallest bones in our body yahi teen hai right anvil incus stapes so inner ear this is how amplification of sound has happened uske baad aata hai inner ear what do we have in inner ear we have something to sense the sound and that's where we have this spiral shaped fluid filled organ cochlea we call it right cochlea so it has a fluid it has hair like structures which sense how much sound is there like right? from this fluid and this sense and convert electrical signals send it to the brain so inner ear ka kaam kya hai convert vibrations into electrical signals so teen major kaam hai pehle hai collection outer ear amplification middle ear and then conversion of sound into electrical signals is inner ear as simple as that okay clear very good so this is how human ear uh makes us to sense the sound all right very good now ab aate hain characteristics of sound pe which is again very important topic this is a big star i would suggest you right so it's a very big star lot of questions come from this i'm telling you okay characteristics of sound sound has a few characteristics like pitch what is pitch pitch is how much shrill your sound is right it depends on frequency of sound dekho frequency of a sound determines the shrillness or pitch of a sound what is frequency frequency kya hai bhai it is the number of waves passing through a point in one second right number of waves produced in one second so you look at this hai na we should know how many waves have passed now what is a wave from one crest to another crest is one wave from one trough to another trough is one wave right hai na so look at this look at this and we have the same visuals in the one shot sessions and we have done we have spent so much time on this hai na bahut time spend karke maine tumko ye samjhaya hai bachcho i'm telling you one shot nahi dekha hai bahut badi galti kar rahe ho go and watch the one shots right now theek hai so this is what we say frequencies number of waves passing through a point in one second all right ab ek wave one wave how much time one waves takes to pass through a point that is the time period hai na that is the time period so frequency is one upon time period right frequency is one upon time period and unit of frequency is hertz these are all small small but very important points okay if unit of frequency is hertz time period unit is second okay frequency increases means pitch increases what is pitch it is a shrillness shrillness matlab hello this is the shrill sound hello this is a deep sound right when you have a sound which is deep it means frequency is very low okay if sound uh, pitch is high means shrillness is high right hai na means means 
फ्रीक्वेंसी इज हाई राइट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स मीन दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी हाई है तो पिच हाई होगा फ्रीक्वेंसी लो है तो पिच लो होगा साउंड डीप होगा क्लियर है ना हैवी होगा वेरी गुड सो दिस इज अबाउट पिच वेरी गुड नाइस सो पिच डिपेंड्स ऑन फ्रीक्वेंसी वेरी गुड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द लाउडनेस लाउडनेस क्या है कितना कितना जोर का आवाज है राइट सो लाउडनेस इज एज द नेम सजेस्ट हाउ मच लाउड द साउंड इज राइट द लाउडनेस ऑन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ साउंड पिच डिपेंडेड ऑन फ्रीक्वेंसी Loudness depends on amplitude, and by the way, square of amplitude. I would suggest you should know this. Is a unit of loudness is decibels. Like pitch or sorry, like frequency was in hertz. Amplitude is in meters. Loudness is in decibels. But you confuse me, Ona. I'm telling you, these are very small, small points where people get confused so much. One shot, dekho ja ke. We have done this. We have spent so much time on this. Pura pura session liya iske upar humne hai na. Decibels mein hum loudness ko measure karte hain. Very good. Amplitude kya hota hai? The maximum displacement of the particles from their mean position. By particles are let's say going up and down, or let's say going right and left in longitudinal. How much they have displaced from their mean position is the amplitude over there. Okay, fine, है ना? Wavelength क्या होता है? Distance between any two consecutive crests or tuff is called as wavelength. By एक wave का length कितना होगा? That is wavelength. And one wave is crest to crest, tuff to tuff, right? So that's why crest to crest length or tuff to tuff length is called as one wave length. As simple as that. It's a length means unit is meters. Amplitude is displacement. Unit is meters. ऐसे याद करना है ना? Remember it like this. We have done this before. All right. ठीक है? This is the diagram. Just summarizing everything. Amplitude ये है. Wave crest ये है. Wave tuff ये है. And two crest or two tuff का length is called as wave length, right? If amplitude is more, loudness is more. Loudness is hello. Or loudness is hello. Here amplitude is low. And if I shout, amplitude is more. Simple si baat. Okay? All right. Two important characteristics: pitch and loudness. I'm telling you, questions have been repeating every year from them. Make sure you understand it clearly. Okay? Ab suno. Now we humans, it's not like we can hear everything. Bats ko suna hai kabi? As such, no, hai na? Right? You might have seen dogs ke liye ek whistle aati hai, which you can't hear, but dogs can, hai na? Isiliye humans cannot hear everything. We have a range. It's called as the range of sound. 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. Less than 20 hertz, the sound is called as infra sound, है ना? Infra, inferior बोल लो, कैसे भी याद रखना रख लो, but infra, less, है ना? Less than 20 hertz. Who can hear it? Pigeons, giraffes, elephants, correct? ठीक है? Humans can hear in this range, 20 to 20,000 hertz. Then after that, we have ultra sound, which is more than 20,000 hertz, right? Who can hear it? Dogs can, dolphins can, and bats can. Bats तो echolocation में use करते ही करते हैं ना? We all know this. So this is the range of sound for humans. Okay, ठीक है? ये भी हो गया. Then what do we have? The next is noise pollution. अब देखो भाई, noise pollution is a very small thing, but we all should be very, very, uh, uh, I would say, okay with this. How it works? Because questions have been repeated. Noise pollution exactly होता क्या है? पहले ये सुनते हैं. Noise का pollution है ना? Pollution तो we all know, but pollution of noise. Ah, that's how noise pollution comes into picture. It is the presence or presence of excessive or unwanted sounds in the environment. If you have lot of unwanted sound, अब unwanted sound कुछ भी हो सकता है. If let's say you are not in the mood and your friend is singing, for you that is noise. It's subjective, but still, presence of excessive or unwanted sounds in the environment is called as noise pollution. Especially, कुछ चीजें हैं that no one likes. Car honking, है ना? Factory running, है ना? Mills working. These are all noise only, right? So, what is the problem with noise pollution? Hazards are headache will happen. Hearing loss can happen. Hypertension can happen, right? These are the problems associated with noise pollutions. How do you prevent it? What are the precautions you can take? First of all, loud noises, no. And we have these uh, demarcations, right? At these particular places, more than this decibels, it is not allowed, right? Correct, है ना? तो इस तरह के demarcation होते हैं, so that's why we have to follow these rules. High sound में नहीं गाने सुनने का, very important, ठीक है? Honking नहीं करने का. If you are standing on a traffic signal, why do you want to honk? Just go smoothly, right? ठीक है? पटाके, I'm not saying पटाके नहीं फोड़ने का, but consider कि भाई it after a certain time, late at night, क्या फायदा है फूड के है ना? So that's why, although it's it's hazardous to environment, but I know you like bursting crackers, but still है ना? Consider this कि यार it's it's which is not good, so be in limit. Fine, that's why I'm saying कि 
पटाके वटाके या तो हो सकता है ना फोड़ो इफ यू इफ यू कैन स्टॉप योर सेल्फ वेरी गुड एंड इफ यू कैन लिमिट योर टाइम दैट आफ्टर दिस लेट नाइट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट बर्स क्रैकर देन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके अदरवाइज हैव अ नाइस पीसफुल दिवाली नो है ना ठीक है ट्रीज लगाने का Plant more and more trees because when noise or the sound travels, no trees have the ability to absorb these sounds, so it will not spread much. So that's why plant trees and these are the precautions to prevent noise pollution. Okay, so this is the precautions. अब ध्यान से देखो. Look at this whole mind map. I tell you every time, this is everything which can come in exams. इसके अलावा नहीं आ सकता. Okay. Your job is to take a print out of this, है ना? Print out निकालने का. Whatever extra thing you want to mark or note, note it on this. After every two three days, हर दो तीन दिन के बाद इसको निकालने का just take it out, have a quick look, revise everything and keep it back. And that's how you will do quick revision. And quick revision is the time. अभी तुम्हारे पास time नहीं है है ना पूरी पूरी किताब पढ़ने का पूरा पूरा one shot देखने का. So go ahead. For quick revisions, mind map are the best. I'm telling you. ठीक है. Knowledge is gained. One shots are done. Revision is done. It's time to prove your knowledge. How with a test. And that's why we have the exam prep test for you. This is a test which link whose link is given in the description. You go ahead, you attempt this test, and I believe I want to trust you. I trust करना चाह रहा हूँ that within half an hour you should finish this test, है ना? Take half an hour, finish it, submit your result. My job would be afterwards I have to come in front of you. I have to analyze all the questions. I have to tell you कितने लोगों ने ये सही किया, कितनों ने गलत किया, how many people got this correct, who got this correct, and then I'll give you a complete solution. ठीक है? That's how while you are sitting at home, I can take your test. Over here, है ना? We are just being efficient over here. कहीं और नहीं मिलेगा तुमको ये है ना? कहीं और नहीं मिलेगा इसका मतलब we have got you covered, बच्चों. Test देना है. I'm trusting you on this. ठीक है? We have got you covered. तुम्हारा काम क्या है? Press the like button right now. See all this effort. It's it shouldn't go in vain, no? Just give a small token of appreciation. भाई अच्छा लगा अगर तुमको ये पूरा summary. Like press करो. शेयर करो अपने दोस्तों के साथ क्यों बिकॉज आफ्टर यू अटेम्प द टेस्ट यू टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन के भाई कितना मार्क्स आ रहे हैं हाउ मेनी मार्क्स यू आर गेटिंग एंड देन यू टेल योर फ्रेंड्स कि भाई मेरे तो इतने मार्क्स आ रहे हैं एंड यू विल आस्क देम तुम्हारे कितने आ रहे हैं सो इट्स अ नाइस एनवायरमेंट यू आर क्रिएटिंग अराउंड यू द टेस्ट एनवायरमेंट विच इज समथिंग वी हैव टू क्रिएट आर जब तक स्कूल करे उससे पहले खुद ही कर लो है ना दैट्स वाई क्रिएट इज एनवायरमेंट आपस में बात करो शेयर करो है ना सबके सब टेस्ट दो मिल गई है सो दैट वी कैन हैव अ नाइस डेटा जितने लोग देंगे उतना अच्छा रिजल्ट आएगा कितने लोग भाई कंपटीशन बढ़ेगा ना दैट्स अ गुड थिंग राइट सो शेयर इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट सब्सक्राइब यू विल नेवर गेट टू नो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग सब्सक्राइब नहीं करोगे तो क्या फायदा है ठीक है सब्सक्राइब करो अभी के अभी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन विद दिस आई लीव द टेस्ट टू यू गो वेड टेक द टेस्ट एंड विल मीट अगैन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन टिल देन टेक केयर बाय बाय सी यू